Housing In deciding how many chicks or hens to purchase, you must consider the available space. Chickens should be kept in a confined space for their safety. This space is generally called a coop. The coop is composed of an enclosed dry shelter and a surrounding fenced outdoor area. Coops can be simple or elaborate in their design and construction. The following detailed specifications will help you design the actual housing for your backyard flock. You can keep your hens in something as simple as an old but watertight dog house or as fancy as a custom-made hen house that blends with the architecture of your home, as long as the housing provides sufficient floor space, protection from the weather and predators, ventilation without drafts, a place to roost, and nest boxes for laying eggs. Housing should provide free air movement during hot months while keeping the hens warm in the winter. It is crucial to ensure that the coop is predator-proof. Predation is the most common cause of mortality in small poultry flocks. Make sure you use a strong wire for your run and that you secure it well to the outside of your upright posts. Wire secured on the inside of the support post may be pushed in by a persistent predator who wants to gain access to your hens. A truly predator-proof coop area will include wire buried at least six inches deep around the perimeter of the run. Alternatively, you can bend the wire outward from the spot where the fencing meets the ground and extend it for at least 12 inches across the soil surface, going away from the coop. Secure the wire to the ground with deep landscape staples to keep predators from pushing under the edges. Finally, for a fully secure run, you will need a wire or solid roof over the entire run area. Designing your coop and run to be long and narrow makes it easier to fully enclose the area. For practical reasons, you may want to consider building your hen house so that the size and shape will allow the building to be used for storage or some other purpose if you decide to stop keeping poultry after a few years. In designing your housing, remember that low density housing, more space per bird, results in less stress for the birds. Less stress means less pecking and fewer health issues. Consider providing considerably more than the minimum recommended living space per bird with the opportunity to free range in a grassy area on occasion as well. Allow a minimum of 2.5 to 3.5 square feet per bird inside the weather tight coop and an additional minimum of 4 to 5 square feet per bird in the fenced outside area. Cover the floor of the inside watertight area with about 4 inches of moisture absorbent litter such as wood shavings. Stir the litter often to keep it dry and to prevent caking. Dry sand is a perfect ground cover for the outside run area of the coop. You may find recommendations for as little as only 1.5 to 2 square feet of total coop space for light breeds such as leghorns or buttercups and 2 to 2.5 or 3 square feet of total coop space for larger brown egg laying breeds such as Rhode Island Reds. These recommendations are for large scale commercial egg production facilities. Keep in mind that these are the minimum spaces in which the hens can survive and produce eggs. The smaller the space, the more likely it is that your hens will experience stress. When designing your chicken coop and run, you must consider these species-specific needs. Social housing, a chicken should never be left alone and should be caged with other chickens. Laying nests, elevated perches, natural light, and areas for pecking, scratching, and sand or dust bathing. Chickens naturally spend 35% to 50% of their day scratching and pecking for food. If they do not have an adequate area in which to forage, they tend to peck, pull, and tear at objects or at each other. Be sure that you give your chickens enough space to thrive. You will need at least one nest box for every four or five hens. The nest box should be located off the floor inside your weatherproof enclosed coop area. A nest 12 inches by 14 inches should be large enough for any breed. Nests should be located at the rear of the hen house away from windows as hens prefer darker areas for nesting. Each nest should have a board on the front of adequate height to hold in a 6 inch deep layer of shavings or straw. Design your coop so that you can easily reach into the nesting box, a hinged door accessible from the outside of the coop works well, to gather eggs and clean the nests. In addition to the nest space, each bird should have a minimum of 9 or 10 inches of perch or roosting space within the weatherproof enclosed housing unit. Make the roosts out of 2 inch by 2 inch lumber with the upper edge slightly rounded and place them below the entrance level of the nests, preferably in an area of the enclosed housing that is separate and distinct from the nests. 
allow about 14 inches of horizontal space between perches. For feeding, allow 3 linear inches of feeder space per bird and make sure clean, fresh water is available at all times. Many small home flocks are allowed at least some time out of the coop to run or range more freely in grassy areas. If the hens are to be allowed outside of their own fenced outside run, the ranging area should be fenced, especially if your yard is small and there is any chance the hens will wander off your property. If you plan to allow your hens some time to free range within your fenced yard, consider letting them out within the hour before sunset, as they will naturally return to their coop on their own when the sun goes down. You can just close the door behind them. This is much less stressful for the hens, and for you, than trying to herd them back to their coop after time out in the yard. Hens don't herd well.